Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys five hidden features on One UI 7.0 that I think you are going to love. Now the One UI 7.0 right over here is obviously running on the S24 Ultra. And you can't ignore these numbers on the top here and here I'm running some tests. But let me show you the first hidden feature. First, I'm going to go to the settings right over here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to battery. Okay. Now the feature itself, I already showed it to you. It's the battery protection feature, but there's a related hidden feature. So I am going to enable the battery protection and I am going to put it to 90%. So here's what I want you guys to notice on the top. Let me just bring that closer to you guys. You can see it says 86% and it's got a charging symbol. Okay. Now here's the feature that I really like. If I were to have the maximum protection at 85%, what is going to happen is it is going to stop charging the phone because it limits it to 85%. Now, because I have it at 85% and it's not going to charge, you are going to see a little armor symbol right next to 86, as you can see. And that is actually brand new. It's an armor symbol symbolizing the fact that you do have the maximum battery protection enabled up to a certain point, and it's not going to be able to charge beyond that. So right now I have 86% charge. So when I go to 85, it puts on the protection. It gives me that symbol. So I think that's pretty amazing that they're making use of that space. So let me just show you that to you one more time. There's the armor. And if I were to go over here to 90, just look at the animation real quick. Let's go to 90. You get the charging animation and it actually starts to charge. So that's number one. Let's go to number two. With the battery, I'm going to show you one more thing. This is just a bonus. So if I go to my settings and if I go to the battery, okay, now look at the icon on the top. When I enable the power savings, I also get a little leaf inside the capsule, the battery capsule. Okay, so another indication that it's on. Previously, it was outside somewhere. Now it's in the capsule. Now, number two has to do with the control panel. So if I bring this down, look at what we have here. We have this two by four. So I have four rows here and four rows right here. Total of eight toggles. If I want to access everything, obviously, I can just swipe down anywhere to expose the whole thing. The problem is most of the time I don't need all of these guys but I might need more than just eight. So let me just pull this back up. So I might need more than eight, but not the whole thing. You can actually resize this portion. And let me show you how to do that. So basically you tap on edit. If you want to edit the contents, you tap on this. However, if you want to edit the default size while you are in edit, you can just push this down a little bit. So now, I'm going to be locked in to this size where I have access to 12 quick toggles. So tap on done. Look at that. So if I bring this down, boom, I've got my 12 toggles and I can expand if I need to. All right. Fantastic. Now you guys may be wondering about these two numbers here. The one that says 120, the one that says one. Now these are options in the developer settings, but these are existing options. However, once you enable developer options, you do have some new features inside here. Okay. So if you want to activate the options, you do have to go to the about phone and then you have to go to software information and then you have to tap on the bill number seven times, eight times, 10 times until it says it is enabled, but then it'll be at the bottom here. Now, when you go inside here, we do have some new options and it has to do with gaming. So look at this. There are certain games when you play them, they lock you at a maximum of 60 frames per second, okay? Now you can actually remove that restriction to get a higher refresh rate. So if I scroll down right over here, just a little bit more, let's keep going a little bit. You can see right here, we have this option that says disable default frame rate for games. So if I enable this, it is going to disable the limitation, okay? So if the game allows for 120 hertz or 90 hertz, you are going to get that higher frame rate. With this one disabled, it is limited to 60. 
So it's an option you can now have on One UI 7.0. Next hidden feature, if I go to the settings, this is brand new by the way, I, I miss it for some reason. Go to sounds and vibration, and then when you go to sound quality and effects, the sound, the loudness normalization feature has been added. This was exclusively available on the full six previously, and maybe the flip six. But you can see uh, the One UI 6.0 does not have it. So we have loudness normalization and also app sound settings. So you can pause and read the description right here. We don't have it over in One UI 6.0, so something to look forward to. I'm not sure if this is gonna be exclusive to the S24 Ultra, or will it go to the, to the lower models as well? And the next thing I wanna be talking about is a feature that was moved. So it went to advanced features now. So if I go to my settings, and if I go over to advanced features, if you go to your phone in One UI 6.0, you're not gonna see this. So 7.0 brings the Super HDR option that was previously in the Samsung Gallery app to the advanced features. So you can enable or disable it here if you want to get a full range of colors and contrast of photos that were taken by Galaxy devices, okay? So previously this feature was in the gallery. It's been removed from the gallery. So if I go to my gallery right now, and here's my gallery settings, it would have been somewhere over here, but it's gone relocated. All right. The next feature I want to talk about has to do with the Samsung weather app, which you can access from a widget. Now, if I launch the widget, okay, we actually have additional information at the bottom right here with a new layout. And that is all this stuff right here. Okay. Look at this. Looks absolutely beautiful. Now, if I bring in One UI 6.0, they look similar on the top. But if I scroll down, Let's keep going together and then start comparing in side by side. Let's go up here and here, okay? You can see we have the running information right here and we have larger tiles here with more information inside the tile. So this one says UV index low. This one says UV index also gives you additional information, low rest of day, and it says low. Same with the humidity. Here and here, we get some extra information that says similar to yesterday. And one of my favorites is this one right here that shows the wind and also shows you a compass with the direction the wind is blowing at, as well as the speed. Here, you just get the speed, okay? So brand new weather application. Maybe somebody can provide the APK for others to download. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of this video. Five hidden features on One UI 7.0. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Also, if you have discovered a new feature, drop it below and I'll make additional videos. Have a fantastic day.